So let's say I have some data I collected from my experiment. Each point represents a student. The x-axis represents the number of hours studied, and the y-axis is the score they got on their exam, from 0 to 100. I want to create a model to predict someone's exam score based on how much they studied. Oh, that's it. I'm done. That's my model right there. I'm dead serious. That's probably a pretty damn good model. So what just happened? I basically implemented a linear regression model to predict their exam scores. So imagine if you tell me you studied for six hours. According to my model, computing hard, using machine learning, I would say you will score a 70% on your exam. If you told me you studied for two hours, I'd predict you'd only get 40% on your exam. That's machine learning. Wait, that's it? That's machine learning? Well, what exactly is the definition of machine learning? If you have something that makes a prediction without explicitly being programmed to do so, then it is machine learning. That something is called a model. Remember that line I drew? That's basically a model. And all those dots on the page, that was my training data in order for me to build that amazing model. If it weren't for those dots, or if I had no training data, I don't think I would have made such a good model. Here, look. Wow, blank page, no data, no idea. But if I have a lot of training data, this is easy. We also talked about making predictions. So here's how the model makes these predictions. Let's use my model that didn't have any training data. If someone says they studied for seven hours, that model would predict they'd get a 35% on the exam. On the other hand, my other model would have predicted 75%. You could kind of guess which model would have made a better prediction. Without data, a model is useless. So what I did there was a linear regression, which is one of the simplest but very effective approaches for modeling the relationship between two variables. Okay, so you saw me simply draw a line, but how do you get the best fitting line? It's important because what if I did this? Or this? I'm exaggerating, but do you think this line is good at predicting the exam scores? Probably not. Intuitively, we want the line to be as close to the training data as possible, aka drawing the best fitting line. Mathematically, we want to minimize this distance from all the points. Let's do a competition. We got Joma and we got um, e evil Joma. Let's see Joma's line. Wow, excellent. Now let's see what evil Joma's got. Oof, not bad as well. But which one is better? Let's measure each point to the line and then add them all up. In the end, Joma got a score of 16. Now for our next contestant, evil Joma got a score of 27. And in this case, we want to minimize that score. We actually call that score the error term because that's how far off your prediction is to the true value. So you want to minimize that error term for all the points, hence Joma wins in this case. How would a machine do this? Or should I say, how would a machine learn to draw the best line? Obviously, a machine is going to beat any of us at fitting this line, but how? The machine is going to be pretty bad at first. It will draw a random line like this, but then it will be able to calculate the average error, aka the mean squared error, which is calculated using this formula which basically means it's calculating the difference between the point and the line and squaring it because we only care about the square distance of the error. The machine is going to use that error and could use a wide range of methods to learn those functions. One of them is based on gradient descent, which coincidentally happens to be the basis of deep learning. But to simplify, it tells the machine which way the line should tilt to minimize the errors. What the machine will do, it will move the line slightly and do the same thing multiple times until it doesn't improve anymore. 
here's a sped up version of this. Seems like a lot of work, but a program can do it pretty fast. Once it feels like it can't improve any further, that's the model it outputs. Beautiful. Linear regressions are extremely simple, but extremely powerful. Most things can be predicted using a simple linear regression. Though not everything should be modeled using a linear regression, for example, this. But the beauty of it is that most problems can turn into a linear regression problem. For example, what if your data looks like this? No worries, you can just transform your y values by performing a log on the values, and it will turn into this. Now, you can use your linear regression. It's always good to go back to fundamentals and basics. A simple linear regression model can go a long way. You can read about this linear regression example on DataIQ's Knowledge Bank, where they explain it way better than I do, so check that out. Alright, that's it. See you later.